In today's hyper-connected world, Wi-Fi is as essential as electricity or running water in our daily lives. But this convenience comes with a dark and dangerous side. The same technology that lets us stream movies and connect with friends can be exploited by malicious hackers. Your personal information, online activity, and even your bank accounts could be at serious risk. This essay explores the world of Wi-Fi hacking using mobile devices and its implications. We will delve into the methods used by hackers and discuss the importance of ethical hacking and network security measures. This essay is for educational purposes only to raise awareness on network security issues. It is crucial to understand that unauthorized access to Wi-Fi networks is illegal and unethical behavior. Always use your knowledge responsibly and ethically in all situations. The information presented here is intended to empower you to protect yourself and your valuable data. By understanding the techniques used by hackers, you can better defend against them effectively. Stay informed and stay safe in the digital age we live in. Wi-Fi hacking in its simplest terms is gaining unauthorized access to a wireless network. This can be done for various reasons from stealing sensitive information to simply accessing free internet. However, regardless of the intent, unauthorized access to someone else's Wi-Fi network is illegal and unethical. The consequences can be severe, ranging from hefty fines to imprisonment depending on the severity of the offense. Ethical hacking, on the other hand, plays a crucial role in cybersecurity. Ethical hackers use the same techniques as malicious hackers, but with permission from the network owner. Their goal is to identify vulnerabilities in the system and provide recommendations for improving security. This process helps to make networks more robust and less susceptible to attacks. Termux is a powerful, open-source terminal emulator and Linux environment app for Android devices. It allows users to run a variety of command line tools and utilities, essentially turning your Android device into a portable hacking machine. While Termux has legitimate uses such as software development and system administration, its flexibility makes it an attractive tool for malicious actors as well. Among the many tools available in Termux are Aircrack Eng, Hashcat, and John the Ripper. These are powerful password-cracking utilities that can be used to break into Wi-Fi networks. Aircrack Eng, for example, is a suite of tools specifically designed for assessing Wi-Fi network security including capturing data packets and cracking WEP and WPA PSK keys. A WEP, or Wired Equivalent Privacy, is an older Wi-Fi security protocol known for its significant weaknesses. It uses a weak encryption algorithm that can be easily exploited by attackers. With the right tools and some technical know-how, it's relatively straightforward to crack WEP encryption and gain unauthorized access to the network. The process typically involves the following steps. First, identify target networks using a Wi-Fi analyzer app to find nearby web-secured networks. Next, capture data packets by utilizing tools like Aircrack Eng to intercept data transmitted over the target network. Then gather initialization vectors, or IVs, which WEP uses for encryption purposes. Collecting a sufficient number of IVs is crucial for successfully cracking the key. Finally, once enough IVs are gathered, Aircrack Eng can analyze the data and crack the web key, granting access to the network. Section 5 Brute Forcing WPA slash WPA2 Networks Challenges and Limitations Unlike WEP, WPA and WPA2 are much more secure protocols that use stronger encryption algorithms. Brute forcing these networks involves trying every possible combination of characters until the correct password is found. While theoretically possible, brute forcing WPA slash WPA2 passwords can take an impractically long time, especially on mobile devices with limited processing power. The time it takes to crack a WPA slash WPA2 password depends on the password's complexity and the processing power of the device used. Long passwords with a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and symbols are significantly more difficult to crack. While specialized hardware and GPU acceleration can speed up the process, these options are generally not available on mobile devices. Section 6 WPS, a vulnerability in Wi-Fi security, Wi-Fi protected setup or WPS, was designed to simplify the process of connecting to Wi-Fi networks. However, it introduced a significant vulnerability that hackers can exploit. 
WPS uses a PIN-based authentication method, and the PIN is often divided into two shorter parts, making it easier to crack using brute force methods. Tools like Reaver can automate the process of exploiting WPS vulnerabilities. Reaver sends a series of PIN guesses to the target router, and if the router is vulnerable, it can reveal the WPS PIN, granting access to the network. It's crucial to disable WPS on your router if your router allows it to prevent this type of attack. Section 7. Packet Sniffing Eavesdropping on Wireless Networks Packet sniffing is a technique used to intercept and analyze network traffic. On Wi-Fi networks, this means capturing data packets transmitted between devices and the router. Hackers can use packet sniffing to steal sensitive information like login credentials, credit card details, and other personal data. Tools like TCP Dump and Wireshark are commonly used for packet sniffing. These tools capture data packets and allow hackers to analyze the information transmitted over the network. However, it's important to note that encryption plays a vital role in protecting against packet sniffing. Section 8 Social Engineering The Art of Deception Social engineering is a hacking technique that relies on psychological manipulation rather than technical skills. Instead of directly attacking a network, social engineers target the people who use it. They use deception and manipulation to trick individuals into revealing sensitive information or granting access to systems. Common social engineering tactics include phishing, sending fraudulent emails or messages that appear to be from a legitimate source, tricking users into clicking malicious links or revealing personal information, fake Wi-Fi login pages, setting up fake Wi-Fi hotspots with names similar to legitimate networks, then creating fake login pages to capture user credentials. Section 9. Mobile Apps for Wi-Fi Security Testing Numerous mobile applications are available that can be used for analyzing and testing the security of Wi-Fi networks. While some of these apps are designed for legitimate purposes such as network troubleshooting and security auditing, Others can be used for malicious activities. Legitimate Wi-Fi security testing apps include Wi-Fi analyzers. These apps provide information about nearby Wi-Fi networks, including signal strength, channel usage, and security protocols. Network scanners. These apps scan a network for connected devices, open ports, and potential vulnerabilities. Section 10, the importance of ethical hacking. Ethical hackers play a crucial role in making the Internet a safer place. They use their skills to find and fix vulnerabilities before malicious actors can exploit them. Ethical hackers are often employed by organizations to test their systems, identify weaknesses, and recommend solutions to improve security. Responsible disclosure is a critical aspect of ethical hacking. When a vulnerability is discovered, Ethical hackers follow a responsible disclosure process to report the issue to the affected organization. This allows the organization to fix the vulnerability before it can be exploited by malicious actors. Section 11. Conclusion. Stay safe in a connected world. As our reliance on Wi-Fi continues to grow, it's more important than ever to be aware of the risks and take proactive steps to protect ourselves. Understanding the techniques used by hackers is the first step in effectively defending against them. By following basic security practices, we can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to Wi-Fi hacking. Here are some essential Wi-Fi security tips. Use strong, unique passwords for your Wi-Fi network and all online accounts. Enable WPA2 or WPA3 encryption on your router. Disable WPS if your router allows it. Be cautious about connecting to public Wi-Fi networks. Keep your devices and software updated with the latest security patches. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and stay safe in the ever-evolving world of cybersecurity.